Magazine started back in 2006 when uh, God gave me the vision. Um, I was in Houston at the NBA All-Star Celebration and I was sitting at the bar drinking and God gave me the vision and I went back home to Dallas and I told my wife and she thought I was crazy. She said he couldn't, he couldn't get you this vision because you don't even know God. So I had to start right there at that particular time getting to know God and uh, just start working on the magazine. So it got started back then. It's so amazing that he says that because absolutely when he came back home and he asked me, was I gonna help him do the magazine? And I was like, absolutely not. You don't know God, you don't even talk to him. You don't even know Jesus' weapons of scripture. So how would God use you in that magnitude? Yeah. And I was a little taken back because I was mad I was the one who was praying, who was spending time with God, and yet he's going to use him and he don't know anybody in the kingdom. And so God had to check me. He told me I became self-conscious and not God-conscious and that I was supposed to inform Tydrick, not transform him. That was his job. So I had to repent to God, repent to my husband and get on board. Monica really started this because um, back before the magazine was established, you know, I used to go out and I used to drink a lot. I used to hang out. So I, when I used to come home, Monica said, boy, you smell like liquor. And, um, and she used to put oil on my forehead. I wake up in the morning, I have oil on my forehead. I have oil on my wallet. I have oil on my car door. And I'm like, what is this? And then she just started laughing because that's what she was doing. So she was getting me prepared for, for the magazine. Hey, you remember the time that I was getting ready to go play basketball? Oh, and, yeah. And, and I was on my knees, tying my shoes up, and you put your hand on my forehead. I was like, girl, get your hand off my forehead. What wrong with you? I was laying hands on you. <laughs> at that time, I was <laughs> At that time, I wasn't there, so I didn't understand what she was doing. <laughs> I just believe that the relationship with God, and if you're going to do anything for the kingdom, I think integrity is the, is the utmost importance. And then God will supply you with all you need. But that comes from you, that transformation of spending time with him. And I knew that if he went out in the world and God had given him this huge vision, then I, as a wife, again, had to make sure I prayed. But, and for me to lead as example, you know, because a praying wife can really saturate the house. And, and allow thing God then come in. He still gets his glory through it all, yeah. but he comes in then and he begins to not only just transform me, but he begins to transform Tadri. Yeah. And it was just amazing to see how somebody who didn't know God at all, never spent time with him, but then was placed in a place where he was beginning to see God move in his life, yeah. him transform the relationships he was building. And then it was amazing because at some point I did get a little jealous. Well, as a young man, as a young boy growing up, um, my parents didn't make me go to church at all. Um, the only time that I went to church was uh, when I was visiting my grandmothers. And yeah, they made me go to church, they made me go to choir practice and different things like that. But I wasn't with them all the time, so I was with my parents all the time and they didn't make me go to church. So we didn't have to go to church on Sundays. Uh, we basically just woke up on Sundays and uh, cooked and, and watched sports. I used to go out a lot. I used to drink a whole lot. A whole lot. <laughs> I used to, uh, man, I used to cuss real heavy. Cuss real, real heavy. Um, so I think by when God gave me the vision, that not only did that um, help me put a publication out, that helped change my life too as well. But also was the fact that I was so tired of hearing Kim, little Kim, Biggie, and 99 Problems. He played this music really loud. He would drink all the time. And I'm like, that just cannot possibly be the man that God is going to use to do a Christian publication out of all things. And, and I remember when Tajik and I got together, you remember when I said, all you got to do is just keep your job wherever you go so that we can be transferred. Because I'm trying to climb, I'm going to climb this corporate ladder. Mm -hmm. And that means you're going to follow me. Because at that time, I wasn't in the process of being submissive yeah. you know, to a husband because I didn't know what it was to be a wife. But I knew what it was for me to be a career woman because I'd already had enough challenges and enough things I'd been through. And I just told him, keep a job. When you get transferred, I'm going to get moved, going to get relocated and go all these different places. But let me tell you this though. It was God who changed the plan. Yes. Because I end up not doing, I still climbed the ladder, but I end up getting behind him and then God began to open the doors. And I see now where God was setting the platform, mm -hmm. using Todrick for doors are open for me. 
And because I got in line, it allowed me now to see that, okay, this is what he was telling me about being a change agent, me about transforming lives, me about that. But if it wasn't for Todrick, I don't think I would be where I am today. Oh, wow. Wow. That is so sweet. At the beginning of 2007, when the magazine first came out, we was working hard to uh, position it, uh, to get people uh, signed up for it, uh, to get different people that wanted to be a part of it. Um, it was a blessing in June 2007, we had an opportunity to put uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes on the cover. And uh, once we put him on the cover of the magazine, I think that kind of turned everything around for us because uh, once he got on there, other people wanted to kind of get on the magazine cover and be in the magazine. So that was a blessing from, from the start. Speaking of relationships, you know, I think that uh, we have a great relationship. First of all, we have a relationship and a partnership. The partnership, the relationship is that we've been married for 15 years, coming up soon. Oh my gosh. And then the partnership is that we've been in partnership for 12 years. Oh, we've been wow. in a relationship of 15 and a partnership <laughs> of 12 years because we started Epitome uh, back in 2007, which was 12 years ago. So oh, wow. I think that uh, it had been a challenge. Uh, it hadn't been easy. But uh, we work hard to uh, maintain our relationship as well as our partnership. Which is so true. It has been, it's, it's a great thing that we are partners. It's a great thing that we are in, in this kingdom business and mindset together. And I can tell you, you know, marriage is, is a lot of work. You know, we are committed to being committed. And there's been times when I was like, I don't like him. I don't want to be around him. You are not what I asked for. Really? You the, Oh yeah, you know I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that because I had my own agenda and what I expected from a relationship, because you're bringing two people together from totally different environments. Tajik was raised in one home. I was raised in four different homes. So here you're already changing the dynamics of a relationship. I'm already a, a challenger. I'm already one who's outspoken. Tajik is very reserved. I'm very bubbly and happy. He's very, just very quiet for the most part. And so- but I'm bubbly too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. But it, but it took a lot, it's taken a lot of work. It's taken counseling. It's taken us going to counseling and figure out, cause I'm like, look, who's gonna sign the papers? You or me? Cause I'm, this is not what I asked for. I thought at least would have been something that I could talk about or to hang on to. Because again, I had my own Monica's plan and not his plan. And I just thought he wasn't doing what I wanted him to do. And that was a problem for me. <laughs> so I had to change and say, look, okay, I gotta stop being in control. I needed to release some of that. And I can honestly tell you, I'm still working on that. Yes, we have developed a, a great partnership as far as the different things that we're doing. And uh, one of the things that we're doing is um, that girl is smart and that boy is smart. And you know, Monica, uh, God gave you the vision to do that, to start that, so. Absolutely, yes. and, it, and it really stems off the fact of That Girl is Smart is an acronym for Successful, Magnificent, Authentic, Resourceful, and Talented. And it's a mentoring program for young girls and young boys from the ages of six through 18. So we can teach them skills and life lessons on how to become valuable or a valuable commodity to their community, both professionally and personally. So when I got that vision, I immediately went in the house and I Googled that girl is smart. I Googled it, and I tried to trace the domain name and I did went to the tech state of Texas name, the Comptroller's office, and I immediately registered that girl is smart. And within nine days, I actually had a 501c3 sitting in my hand for nine days. So I knew then it was definitely God ordained. It was me to take the life issues and the challenges that I had endured. Yeah. For us to show back and give to the young men and the young girls now, that no matter what your situation is and your circumstances may have been, you can overcome anything. When I say anything, anything, any roadblock, any challenge, any trial, and you can become successful. And so me going to school, you know, working on three degrees, well, I have three degrees, and now I'm actually gonna go, I'm actually been accepted into school again to get my uh, LPC, I'm gonna become a licensed profession counselor. So that way that when I can have that total package that when I'm in ministering and I'm in talking and I'm in having these events, 
that I'll be able to have the skill set and the credentials alone, everything that God has given so we can be able to truly, truly affect the kingdom, affect these lives and go out and just change the world with it.